Hello everyone, welcome to the course on data structure and algorithm. In this video, we are going to talk on uh, uh, linear data structure, which is a stack. So basically, what is a stack? If you can look at this uh, simple uh, diagram, wherein we are having four different uh, books, uh, you know, arranged in a stack way or a pile way. So in the bottom, we are having literature, then on top it is science and then history and maths. So if this is the stack, then we can always add a book on the top means if now I'm having one more book, let's say, you know, a book of drawing, then we'll be putting it on the top of maths book. All right. And supposing if I wish to remove a book, so I'll be removing from the top only that is I'll be removing math books first. So addition as well as deletion will be done from the top of the uh, stack. So this is top of the stack. If I remove this math book, that top of the stack would point to history book. If I add one more book over here, then accordingly top of the stack would uh, be changing. So stack is having a property wherein there is only one end where a book is added on the top, book is removed from the top. Now, addition is sometimes uh, more popularly known as a push operation or insertion operation instead. So we'll be using this, uh, uh, you know, push as a very frequent terminology in stack. So basically pushing is adding something onto the stack on the top of the stack, whereas popping is about uh, uh, removing or it's about deleting. So removing will call a word pop. So push is adding and pop is removing. So there are a few other example. Let's say this is a case wherein you know multiple uh, uh, CDs are stored. So always we can push, we can add CD from top. You cannot in uh, you know remove something pr from in between. If you wish to remove something, you can always remove from the top. Same way, this is an example wherein you know these dishes are piled together. If you wish to take a dish, you can take from top. If you wish to put one extra dish, you can put on the uh, top of the pile so these are few examples of stack now let us try to understand so stack is a linear data structure because it goes in a linear way you cannot uh, you know remove uh, non-linearly so insertion as i said it is a pushing something on the top of the stack and deletion is popping and every operation insertion or deletion it will be done at top of the stack only so insertion will be done on the top of the stack and deletion will also be done from the top of the stack so it is you know the last in item the last in item uh, will be removed first will be removed first so it is called lifo or sometimes they call the first in item will be removed last first in item will be removed last so that is called philo first in last out but this is uh, relatively you know less frequently used term so we'll be using this term more lifo lifo is last in but first out whichever item has been input last which will be output first so that is last in first out All right so stack is again order list you you'll have to follow the order means if this is uh, you know this has been put on the top so it will go in this way only or in that way only so it is an orderly you cannot remove something randomly from in between so this is not possible and there are a few other operation like pip pip means uh, uh, you don't want to remove something from the top you just want to know the element supposing this is uh, you know uh, one stack having four elements let's say 45 89 36 and 55 now if you re do pop what will happen the 55 will be removed but uh, sometimes you do not want the 55 to be removed you want 55 to be there but you only need to see it so for that you can use pip so in case of pop you know what will happen the items will be removed items will be removed but in case of pip item will not be removed only you can look at the item you can print the item there are a few other words is empty you can check whether the stack is empty or not so if there is no item in the stack for example this is the case if there is no item in the stack the top of the stack is minus one normally minus one because array starts from zero one two three four 
so normally when there is no item this is a blank stack then it is minus one so if you wish to check whether the stack is empty or not you can check whether the top of the stack is minus one if it is minus one that means it is empty then spool supposing this size is five size of this stack is five so now if you add something over here let's say 55 the top is over here if you add something more let's say 41 the top is over here if you have let's say minus 9 the top is over here if you add one more number let's say 39 the top is over here and last push is let's say 69 now the top is over here now we know that uh, now this stack is full so what's the value of top 0 1 2 3 4 so top equal to 4 so that means if top equal to equal to size minus 1 what is size what is size size equal to 5 so size equal to 5 minus 1 so that is 4 and top equal to 4 so if this is the case if top equal to size minus 1 then the stack is full so this is how you can check the stack is empty or not or the stack is full or not now let us move next so let us take one example so s is a stack all right and consider the following sequence the sequence is given over here and initially it is given that the stack is already having 55 an element over there all right and then check how it is going to perform if we have this many elements so initially we are having see if the stack is empty the top is minus one but uh, it is said that we are already having one element so 55 is already there that means the top is zero now now let us start doing this one by one so first is s dot push push means adding so you can see that seven this seven is added over here and top is incremented by one so now previously it is zero now it is one now second is push 20 that means now this 20 is inserted on the top of the stack and this top is now two and then now pop so pop what will happen in case of pop this 20 will be removed so look at this so 20 is removed and this top is now decremented so now previously it was two now it is one now look at the next one push 14 so what will happen push is always adding so when you push something that 14 is added and top is again incremented by one so now it is now then s dot pop pop means this 14 will be removed so look at this so 14 is removed and top is decremented by one and last is again s dot pop so again this pop means this 7 will be removed so look at this so now only one element is there 55 and that top is zero so this is the status after performing this many operations so now let us move forward how do we implement stack using programming so this is what we are going to do we are go we have declared a stack s with a size let's say 5 so let me draw something over here so this is my stack having 1 2 3 4 and 5 element so this is s0 this is s1 2 3 and this one is s4 so and initially top equal to minus 1 so initially this top is equal to minus 1 means the stack is empty now let us try to do push 50 so push 50 means it will be pushed over here then push 7 means 7 over here then 20 means 20 push okay so this is how we want to push so 50 is pushed first then 7 7 is pushed then 20 so 20 is pushed so at this point of time if i remove this one uh, if i remove this one then what is the status of uh, my uh, top of the stack it is top is over here 2 0 1 2 so top is over. then what we are going to do pop pop means this 20 will be removed and now the top is over here top is 1 all right and again now i am going to push 14 so what will be happen so this 14 is there and then now the top is over here top is again 2 so if i erase this stuff if i erase this stuff now this is the situation and now look at this now look at this after inserting 14 now we are having two pop 
two pop, the first pop will remove 14 the second pop will remove 7 all right so uh, the situation would be something like this this 7 is removed the 7 is removed sorry and uh, so now only if you look at it now only we are having one element that is 50 and now top is pointing over here so top equal to 0 so this is removed and if I print the value of top what will be printed this 0 will be printed so this is the situation so let me just remove everything and let us try to implement this function push and pop so in case of push look at this in case of push what we are doing we are passing something for example let's say I have passed 50 so now x equal to 50 and check now before pushing what you need to check whether the stack is full or not if the stack is full there is no way you can push something onto it all right so if the stack is full what will happen suppose something is already there something is already there some elements are already there that means top is over here that means top is 0 1 2 3 4 if top is 4 that means if top is size minus 1 what is size 5 so if top is size minus 1 if all elements are 0 sorry if all elements are there in the stack then we have no option of adding one more element so it will be simply printing stack overflow and return so when the stack is full we will not add it but now if the stack is not full that means over here supposing this is the case supposing initially initially the top is over here minus one so top is over here minus one and uh, there is no element in the top and in that case we are going to add this 50 so we are going to add so in that case what will happen first the top is incremented that means a top is incremented initially it was minus one now it is zero so top is incremented over here so let me just remove this and now let us uh, you know check this one so then this 50 we will be putting s of top s of top means s of 0 so this is my s of 0 so we'll be putting this x that is 50 so we'll be putting it over here and then also at the same time we'll put a message that uh, this 50 has been pushed so we'll get in output the element push equal to 50 so this is how what you do push in case of push we check whether the stack is full or not if it is not full we increment top and we assign the value onto the array that's it now let us talk of the next one uh, pop what do we do in case of pop so now look at this this is the logic for pop so unlike push we need to check the other condition means pop is always returning something from the top but what if the stack is empty the stack is empty means the situation would be something like this the top is minus one so if the top is minus one that means if there is no item in the stack what would you do you will simply print stack under flow or stack is empty something like that so if top equal to minus one you will display the message stack under flow and return otherwise if it is not the case supposing it is something like this supposing let me just remove this and let me just add a few element over here let's say 10 20 and 30 suppose these three elements are there that means top is over here top is 2 top is 0 1 and now top is 2 so if this is the case and I want to pop something so in that case what will happen I'll be popping this element s of top so what is s of top what is s of top it is 2 so that sorry 30 s of top is 30 so I am going to print that 30 first and then top minus minus top minus minus so now uh, this will be top equal to 1 so now this element is removed you consider that as removed all right so in case of pop what do you do you first check whether the stack is empty or not and if it is not empty you simply remove the element and by decrementing the top now next comes so this is the exam and this is the exam output of this one so first we push 50 that means element push 50 so that message you get it from here from push 
okay next again you have push next again you have push so 50 7 20 so you'll be getting element push 50 element push 7 element push 20 so you'll get it then you have one pop one pop means you will be removing this 20 so that element popped element popped equal to 20 so this message you get it from here then again push 14 so again uh, element push 14 then again two pop so now 14 and 7 are popped and lastly when you check because there is only one item left there is only one item left and that is the very first element 50 so this is the situation and top equal to 0 so when you print st stack top it will print 0 so it will print 0 so this is how you can have implementation of stack that means push and pop operation and uh, you uh, can see the code of this uh, program over here on the github the link is given next uh, some other terminology if we have peep as i said uh, so in that case uh, sorry it's not peep it's peep in that case all you need is we do not do top minus minus because if you see what is the difference between pop if you go back in case of pop uh, uh, in case of pop what do we do we do top minus minus means we remove it but in case of peep we do not do this top minus minus we simply re uh, return the topmost value but it is still there in case of peep the value will not be removed the value will remain there but it will just be written it will just be displayed all right and this is peep next is is full so i want to check whether the stack is full or not so simply you can write if top equal to equal to size minus one then it is full so you can return one for full and uh, you can return zero for not full something like this and uh, one more function you can create is empty is empty matlab if you have top equal to minus one means there is no element then you can return one one matlab uh, it is empty and zero means it is not empty so these are three different functions you can always use so previously we have seen let me remove everything previously we have already seen two function push and pop so this push and pop we have already seen then you can have peep peep here number third is full number four and is empty number five so you can write a whole program with all these five so this is an assignment given to you you can write whole menu driven program with push pop peep is full is empty all these functions in it and uh, if you wish you can take this code as a reference this code contains everything this stackful.c it has got uh, the complete program menu driven program incorporating push pop peep is full is empty all the functions so you can look at this uh, program for your reference so with this we conclude this uh, video of stack and in our next video we'll be uh, talking of uh, infix prefix and postfix notation